Jake Paul recently announced that he will be fighting one of the GOATs of MMA in Anderson Silva on October 29th. Silva has been doing really well into his transition to boxing, which Jake Paul publicly recognized. Anderson Silva has been on a KO streak, knocking out Tito Ortiz, Bruno Machado. I mean, this guy is nasty in the ring. And for me, this fight was supposed to be after Tommy Fury because I've never fought a southpaw and this is a much tougher fight. Every fight critic said that I wouldn't take this fight and if I did, I would lose to Silva. After the news was announced, Silva said that this fight would make history. Jake Paul admitted on Twitter this would be his toughest test yet and that he respects Anderson Silva, but that he would be exterminated. Various people reacted to this news in different ways, with some people giving Jake props for the test, while others dismissing it as another old MMA fighter. Jake's brother Logan let his support be known online. We are supporting Jake Paul on his fight on October 29th. He will beat Anderson Silva! <laughs> That's right. And moved to 6-0. <laughs> Logan's next touted opponent, Dylan Dennis, gave his views of Jake's next opponent, saying, Of course Jake Paul is fighting Anderson Silva. He's 48 years old. That's bullying. At least his brother is fighting a young, undefeated sex symbol like myself. KSI outed Jake Paul's coach, BJ Flores, after he even appeared to not understand Anderson Silva as an opponent for Jake. Dana gave his views on Silva versus Jake. If he's really fighting Anderson Silva, if he's really fighting Anderson Silva, that's true. It's about time. Yeah, he's, he's got a real fight in his hands there. You know, he, regardless of how old Anderson is. Joe Rogan agreed this would be a test for Jake. What do you think about yes. Anderson, uh, Jake Paul? I love it. If Jake Paul really decides to fight Anderson, that's a very, very, very tough is fight. It, isn't it on? I thought it was yeah, for sure. I think they're talking about it, but <laughs> if he goes for Anderson Silva, that's ballsy. Dude, Anderson Silva just beat... Julio Chavez so correct, Jr. Correct. A legit former boxer. world champion. And I know he's lazy compared to his dad. No, he was 50 a, and 3. Legit yeah. boxer. Multiple time world champion. Older. Survived against Canelo. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, went the distance against Canelo. And Anderson funny. Silva fucked him up, dude. And maybe yeah. he wasn't taking it seriously. I don't give a fuck. By that seventh round, he's like, I should, probably should get going here. Yeah. And Anderson still whooped his ass. Well, Anderson, if he just went straight into boxing, would have been a fucking world champion. Former WFC champ Henry Cejudo gave props to Jake for taking on the spider and discusses the matchup with Chael Sonnen. The only thing that I see with Anderson Silva where he could get caught, and we see this a lot, is Anderson Silva likes to play. Yes. He'll give his chin. And there's one thing that a youngster does have, and that's power yes. in that right hand. Yes, he does. Excuse me. Nobody's putting down Anderson Silva. Not, not, not with boxing gloves on. Not, even in MMA, when that happened with the little gloves, there was more to it, or the movements with Chris Weidman. Anderson Silva could take a punch. He's not getting knocked out. That changes things right there. Anderson Silva, and as you saw when he caught T. Ortiz, I mean, he literally slicked these, 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 uh, these quarter inch kind of angles to be able to knock somebody out like sure. that. But you're right, but the number one thing that Anderson Silva does have to have is his hands up. Yeah. His defense is number one. And why not? It's a choice. But I will say this, Chell. If Anderson Silva does not take this kid serious, Jake Paul will knock him yes, out. Yes, he will. Yes, he will.